Thanksgiving's coming up, so everybody's got to get prepared for Thanksgiving, right? Mm -hmm. Look, there's tons of people who are going to tell you what kind of sides are the best sides for Thanksgiving, what are the best meats for Thanksgiving, how to make the best drinks for Thanksgiving, you know, all the football snacks for Thanksgiving, best time to take a nap during Thanksgiving, best games to bet on Thanksgiving, but no one's telling you the top five Thanksgiving talking topics. Everybody gets around the table. They're hanging out with friends and family, specifically family. They're all in a tight space. You got to have conversation. You need to know what to talk about. Tony, I assume that you're going to want the turn. So I'm going to take one of one overall, the top five Thanksgiving topics to talk about. Are you good with that? Yeah. Number one, Trump. I win. <laughs> Trump, my number one pick overall. <laughs> is this, I mean, does this count for like all politics? I feel like we could just go down. Like I could say Nancy Pelosi. You could say Mitch McConnell. You can do that. Look, I didn't um, want to be a buster and just say, politics that's kind of weak <laughs> we need things to say we got like, we got to get 10 all, of these things out man <laughs> it's like all encompassing but yeah that's fair um yeah that's a good one yep you got two picks um i will we'll keep it right there with things you, you lost. probably shouldn't talk about you lost these Maybe. are all the things you should talk about i'm, I'm comfortable talk i can i can talk about them without uh throwing food at my family members <laughs> Some of my family probably can't, but yeah, that's another yeah. discussion. Uh, I'll take religion. That's a very sensitive topic. Um, it's one I'd probably hurt a lot of people's feelings on. <clears throat> my uh, second pick, hmm. I'm trying to think about what you would pick next to see if this thing would still be around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick uh, insert any skin color, lives matter. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah, you you trigger anybody, I think, if you started yeah. talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you got to do it on the like red, blue, green scale, right? <laughs> like a a red forty seven, blue thirty eight, and a green sixteen skin color. Lives matter. Like that would be Pantone so two nine four. Lives matter. <laughs> so good. Uh, all right, my number two. I am going to say um, the thing that you should talk about is your actual gender. Hmm. Um, that is that'll, that'll definitely uh, be good for the crowd, especially if you are, um, yeah, in a red Wait, family. It, yeah, and you're wavering. I could see mm -hmm. that. That that would spark something. Yep, yep. Uh, the third one is you should talk about your diet that you're on during oh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> that, that you got two coming up. That's good. Um, just talk about someone's diet as they're shoveling turkey and stuffing <laughs> and th their third I, piece of pumpkin pie. <laughs> you know how I got my abs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as God. you're talking to a guy in a big dog shirt with the bottom of his stomach hanging out you can see the bottom half of his belly button with just hair <laughs> pouring out of it right and you're just talking about how you got washboard abs that's that's why i'm afraid to go to thanksgiving at trace house like halfway through dinner like he's like you guys want to go check out the gym and he just takes <laughs> off his shirt and his abs are miraculously yeah. oiled up come on Trey. yeah i only eat the meats because you know i got to keep these abs and he just yeah. lifts his shirt up and he talks about his like 12 abs that he has no oh, god yeah that's good uh my third pick, I'll go. Uh, I'll go gun control. That's, oh, that's a super so sensitive topic. <laughs> uh, good uh, anti pro. It doesn't even matter. Like, yep. I feel like that one would trigger both sides immediately. Mm -hmm. Uh, pick number four. <sighs> I, I fucked save the entire thing up, huh? You did a little bit. I was gonna save this one for last, but I don't know what you're gonna take. So, <laughs> um, we gotta frame this. Mom and dad are gonna die soon. Who's going to get the house? So maybe Will, like bringing up uh, the Will. I've seen families, yeah. mine included, uh, just torn apart for stuff like this. And I don't understand why, but I feel like that's a super sensitive thing. Like once you get to a certain point, it's like people are just very divisive and they're triggered very easily over it. So that's the thing that we got to think about as parents, right? And like when I was – getting out of my financial whole thing. I started thinking about this and the guy I listened to and I kind of follow the financial advice from just from a, a lifestyle perspective, I guess you would say. Um, uh, he does a meeting every single year around the holidays to discuss with his family, his will and his wow. wishes. Right. So it's like, the, he said the first one awkward, Hey, I need to talk to you guys about what to do mm -hmm. and what I want and what is going to be done when I die. Right. Awkward. But now it's just like a thing of, it's, it's normal business, right? Hey, let's go over it. Anything change? This is this. We're all on board. It yeah. doesn't matter how you feel about it. You're going to get over it eventually because I'm going to do it every single year with you, right? Mm -hmm. Or as things grow <laughs> in whatever the estate is and stuff like that. But our parents, right? And we're, you know, 
right mid thirties. We're about a third of the way through life. You know, I mean, maybe a quarter of the way through life once we get there type of mm-hmm. thing. Cause we're, we're living past a hundred Tony, um, especially with Neuralink. And uh, it's like, we got to be prepared to do that stuff. Once your kids get old enough to be able to comprehend it. Right. Maybe the end of high school, just start it. Hey, I want to go over this thing is important to me. This is what we got. And this is this. And then, so they understand it, whatever. I don't, is, right? I don't think that's a good idea. I I'm don't do think it. that's a good idea. I'm doing it. Um, Cause let's say like you do well and your will is, you know, it's got a lot in it. Properties, mm-hmm. money, stocks, bonds, uh, stuff like that. Gold. You start telling your kids about that. They're in, they're in like a tight spot. They start bringing <laughs> meals over to your house. That's cause you got like, brown you kids, dude. <laughs> your kids are brown, 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 brown. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, why are you so interested in my life insurance policy all of a sudden? Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got my last two here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, you should talk about the pride flag being on the U.S. men's national team uh, jersey for the World Cup this year. Um, that That's definitely a, a good topic of discussion for Thanksgiving dinner. And then, um, damn it, I fucked up. I shouldn't have picked that one. Um Damn it, I can't go back either because I've already picked. That's the rules. Mm-hmm. Um, damn it. Uh, you should talk about you should talk about your stepmother's recipes <laughs> and how she makes Thanksgiving dinner because you went there last year. Yeah. Awkward. Yep. Super awkward. It's it's a definitely a good topic. You got one more pick left. Uh one didn't. Didn't get touched. Didn't get touched, um, which makes sense because I think a lot of the southern states also didn't touch this uh, vaccines. So everyone's a vaccine <laughs> epidemiologist all of a sudden. I all fucking, of a sudden, they're experts. I fucked up. That would have been the nail in the coffin. I didn't even think about vaccines. Oh my gosh. W. Oh, that's a win. Geez. All right, but let's yeah, wrap I, it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wrap it up. I got um, top five things to talk about Thanksgiving. I got Trump, your actual gender, your diet, the pride flag on the U.S. men's national team uh, soccer jerseys for the World Cup, and your stepmother's recipes. You got religion, any skin color, lives matter, (laughs) gun control, uh, your parents' will and estate, and vaccines. Did you have any honorable mentions? I I had a couple. Um, I had Uncle Thomas's divorce. Probably shouldn't bring that up at dinner. (laughs) why in the shit did Limp Biscuit cover the Who's behind blue eyes? I still don't know why. Mm-hmm. And that was played on the radio for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, and my last one was like undercooked or overcooked food. Just eat the food. Yeah. Just eat the food or just, you know, push it. You know what would make this better? This needs a little salt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's a little dry. She woke up at three o'clock to start cooking. And yeah. you're going to say it needs a little, go get the fucking salt. <laughs> like, nah, just the do tur- it. The turkey's dry. You just add gravy. Add more gravy. You'll yeah. Be all right. Uh, so I did have, um, uh, talk about your new religion. <laughs> um, I had talk about your ama- amazing sex life, uh, bring up cancel culture, talk about your depression and then, uh, talk about the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, so, no, don't do yeah. that. Yeah. Don't do that. And they'll be Those televised are... They They play every Thanksgiving day. So yeah. 